Good morning. Kathy here from Blissful Yours. And today I'm doing a little tutorial on making uh, melt and pour roses. Now I'm doing a kids class on Saturday and this coming Saturday, uh, as long as we're going to still have class, I'm pretty sure we are. It kind of depends on a few things right now at this point. But anyway, uh, we're gonna, I'm going to teach the kids how to make these roses. I thought it would be kind of fun for them. Uh, so what I've done is I've uh, I've colored and scented um, a little bit of uh, melt and pour soap. Uh, I didn't really weigh it, so I don't know how much is here. But I, I did uh, two sheets of um, wax paper, and I all I did was um, I colored it yellow. I scented it with the uh, Crafters Choice Fresh Cut Roses Fragrance Oil. Smells like real roses, it's wonderful. And, and I just put, it, put a little bit in, and, uh, and then I poured, poured the little little puddles. Right, and they're petals. They're puddle petals. <laughs> Hashtag puddle petals. So anyway, what we're going to do is make some roses. Now, my father passed away, oh gosh, 18 years ago, and his favorite color of rose was yellow. So um, if we make it out to see my mom, I'm going to give her these. Uh, but the kids are going to make these in class. So what you want to do is, after you've poured it onto your wax paper, your little puddles, um, you let it um, set up. It doesn't take a long time, but the these have been setting up since yesterday, so they're they're nice consistency. They're they're still flexible, and so make sure I'm I'm in here. So what you want to do is we're going to start with the center petal, and you, you want to take one end, and you just kind of kind of gently bend it around on itself, and we're just going to roll it up like so. And you'll see that's the center of our rose. Now you're going to keep holding it. And this can get a little tricky because it's a little slippery. We're going to take another little petal, or a little puddle petal. And we're going to, you see where you're, you ended here, we want to cover that up and bring it up just slightly so it's a little bit higher. And we're going to keep wrapping it around and keep on holding it. It's a little tricky. So, and then if you want, like I, see, it's already sliding down. But like I do, I, I really hold it firm. And then I try and bend just the top out just a little bit. So it's coming out like, like that a little. And we'll have to adjust as we go around. So I'm going to take another little puddle petal. And I'm bringing it up higher. And I'm covering the edges. Wrapping it around. And they're not going to be perfect. Because really, even roses in nature are all unique and imperfect in their beauty, right? And we're just going to keep doing that all the way around, covering our edge that we ended on and bringing it up a little and trying to bring it out, you know, at the top and holding it firmly in our hand because they'll slip around if, if you're not careful. And you kind of have to decide which way you want to pedal up. This is kind of a curve to it, so I think I'm going to uh, use that end. See, I'm bringing it up a little higher, covering my exposed edge. And these are, are flexible. But, you know, as they uh, sit out, they will harden, just like soap does. 
and they'll just they'll just be gorgeous. I uh, I I got a mention, and uh, on these, on Brambleberry Soap Queen uh, page. I got their uh, Facebook photo of the week for these roses. Uh, so I don't know if you can go back in their archives. It was it was I don't know maybe a month or two ago. And you could see my roses. I think I did them in differing shades of, uh, I had white and pink, a kind of a coral pink. And they turned out really pretty. Again, just holding it very tightly. And you kind of have to decide for yourself when you think your rose is big enough. I'm going out further with this one. Isn't it? It's pretty already, you could tell. And roses are a symbol of remembrance. Like I said, they were my dad's favorite flower. So I think this will be a, a nice gift from my mother. Oopsie. I really have to hold on and get them to kind of melt together on the base. Is kind of what they're, what they're doing with the heat of my hand. So that's looking really nice. Bending my petals out. See? Very pretty. I think I'm going to do these last two and then we'll finish. And it's just looking. Let's see, I must have put my. Uh... Hey, 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 don't chew on the rug, you little mongrel. I'm just yelling at my little bandit. He's a bandit, all right. Okay. So I think that's good for this rose. I'm just going to grab a knife. And you're going to want, when you're done and you think your rose looks good, Make sure your base is really, you know, squeezed together nicely. And what we're going to do is lay it on its side and we're going to cut with a knife, a nice sharp knife, just a little bit off the end to make a nice flat base. Like so, so that your rows will sit. Don't come apart on me now. So, the rose sits nicely, hopefully. So there's the rose. And what I like to do then, I like to get my um, super sparkle glitter, or whatever glitter you like. This is Crafter's Choice, super sparkle. And I'm going to give give it a little dusting of glitter not overdoing it but just just a little shimmer like so isn't that pretty nice little I hope you can see the little sparkles and then I have these um, these uh, flowers that I got, um, I ordered them online. I got a whole bunch of them. And what I like to do is just put one in the center. I'm going to kind of tuck it in there. And it just it gives it just a little, a fun little doohickey out of the middle. Not really part of a rose, but... 
but I like it. And, and another thing you could do, you could, and I didn't, you could uh, color a few green petals just to add to the outside, just kind of a little accent. I did not do that with these, but that's another something you could do. So anyway, the longer it sits, like I said, the harder it will be. Um, just kind of finessing my outside edges here so they don't come apart. But they, they'll be good. The longer they sit, the harder it'll be. But there's my tutorial on Puddle Petal. <laughs> I like that. Puddle Petal. Um, melt and Pour Roses. And I'm going to do a couple of these, put them together in a nice little container for my mother. She can set it out. Uh, and they smell like roses, and they're wonderful. I just love them. Anyway, hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you with my next video. Bye, everybody.